Hello and welcome, it's Machine Day and I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can export all of your scenes and sources from Streamlabs OBS and import them into OBS Studios. If you're considering moving from Streamlabs OBS to any software, you'll find this very useful. Uh, of course, if you're specifically looking to move to OBS Studio, then you'll find this the perfect video for you. So in the video, I'll show you exactly how you can export all of the scenes, save them, and then re-import them into OBS Studio, almost as though they were there all along and it works pretty well as well so if you find this useful please feel free to like the video it definitely helps me and also anyone else looking for this video as well because it'll improve the visibility feel free to subscribe to the channel i do help other streamers to level up their streams with the content that i do on both twitch and youtube finally if you want to check me out on twitch feel free to give me a shout or ask me any questions whatever twitch.tv forward slash machine dana okay let's do this Okay, so first we need to ready up the export from Streamlabs OBS. Don't get confused by this cog here using the uh, scene collections. You can export overlay file types. Slobs have got a warning here. This feature is intended for overlay designers to export their work to our theme store or export their work for our theme store. Use it at your own risk. So I think this is a tool for people to be able to design layouts and stuff within Streamlabs OBS and then export them to the theme tool there may be ways that you can use these overlay files to import into other programs but when i tested this with streamlabs obs and obs studio exporting it as an overlay file simply put it as a dot overlay and the imports for obs studio are json files or xml files that kind of thing so even though you can see the file here exported cleanly i could then upload that probably into the theme shop for streamlabs online however i would not be able to import this into obs studio so let's just ignore that for the time being what we need to do here click on your scene collections here remember these are your sources these are your scenes and there are multiple scene profiles that you've got here for any themes that you've installed on streamlabs obs and of course you can interchange between them for example i used to use a synthwave one i used to use an allure spot trick these are different ones that i've used over the course of time and i like to keep my stream fresh by installing new theme profiles so this is the one here the queen neons the one i'm currently using and i want to make sure that that's the one that i import into obs studio i just want to go on to manage all we can see here's an indication that this is the one that's active but this is the one that we want to be importing i'm just going to rename this to make sure that it looks appropriate i've, I've named it obs import here make sure it's the exact one that i want because it can get there's quite a lot of files in obs studio that you see click done on that that's the streamlabs obs piece done really so we can minimize that and open up obs studio so as default within obs studio you don't have any scenes or sources you have the one simple scene which is where you are supposed to build your scenes and sources from of course we're gonna take the short route and import all that information but just to show here that that's where the information will be for your scenes and this is where it'll be for your sources we're going to click on scene collections here we've got one untitled scene collection and that's the selected scene collection that we're currently active on as indicated by the tick here we click import obs studios by default will look for known locations of where streamlabs obs may have placed scene collections and as we can see here the clean neon obs import is here now i can choose to Click multiple profiles here to import them if I want to do that. I'm just going to import the single profile for the time being. And I'm going to click import. Initially, nothing really happens. But first, you have to click on scene collections and now select the newly imported scene collection. Now, what you've got to bear in mind here is all the files for Streamlabs OBS are already localized on your machine. So importing them is not necessarily a case of moving them for a file transfer process. It's simply a process of pointing OBS Studio to the files that already exist. And that's why it doesn't take long to do this. As you can see here, we've got all the different scenes and the sources. You still may need to configure your cam and your microphone phone and all the other stuff so you strap in you're probably going to need at least five to 15 minutes to sort all of that stuff out but broadly that's the work done now and that's taken out a lot of meat and bones of the work that needs to be done to move over from streamlabs obs to obs studio there you have it how you can export from streamlabs obs into obs studio nice and easy if you found this useful once again feel free to thumbs up feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful day